All right, everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in. Sorry for the shaky camera. Uh, my hands are a little bit shaky right now and I'm just holding it with my phone. This is what happens when you ball mill and uh, you go too long without opening the container. This was one pound of aluminum that had been ball milling for about 20 days in the last five days or so. I wasn't able to get to it to open it and uh, let it get exposed to air. And I ended up, after you know, for going as long as it did, I ended up with air float aluminum. Even though I had uh, added charcoal to make it German darkhead aluminum, it went supernova on me. And what happened, I, uh, my ball mill, we'll, I'll, uh, I'll show that here in a little bit later, but as I was dumping the contents out into this plastic bucket, I wanted to use plastic because, you know, less chance of uh, maybe a, one of the, uh, the the nuts hitting the bottom of a container and causing a spark or anything. Well, uh, there could <laughs> there, there's something happened, whether it was just an auction reaction or whatever, but the aluminum powder went supernova on me and it was extreme, extremely dangerous because it did, uh, I was trying to save the bucket and uh, I have a ma I had a mask and a face shield on and gloves and and, uh, and sunglasses or safety glasses, uh, dark safety glasses, but it, it, it you know, it's, it wasn't safe enough because it did flash and it kind of flared my eyes a little bit, not bad, but anyway, I'm going to lose a bunch of my milling media and I'm afraid to get too close. Let me zoom in like this. Those are all uh, uh, 300 series stainless steel nuts and I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose a lot of them to this uh, aluminum that went supernova. There's my bucket. I'm going to get out of here in case there's some residue that pops. Look at the heart of that. Red hot. So yeah, huge disappointment. A lot of time spent. Let's go look at the ball mill. Okay, well here's my ball mill. And again, I apologize for the shaky camera. It's just 4 inch PVC with an end cap and then a reducer that is reduced down to uh, the rubber a clean out cap with a screw clamp and because of the high, our local hardware store didn't have the necessary parts I wanted to just uh, reduce down one step and then put a, a bigger end cap right here but since that wasn't an option I had to go smaller and because of that the media had a hard time coming out of the end and and when I turned it upside down I kind of had to give it a little shake and I bet what happened I incorporated just enough oxygen in the wrong spot and it caused it to go. And it, how I can describe it, looking down into the bucket that you've seen in a blaze over there, it just looked like a little piece of orange, like a uh, like a hot ember had fallen into it, and it started to spread. And uh, luckily, I was doing it away from everything, so I didn't have to, uh, you know, I didn't have to injure myself in the process. So be real careful with this stuff, guys. Aluminum powder is extremely dangerous, as I. As I've shown here, it was a uh, it was a waste of about $150 worth of stainless steel media. I don't even know how much of that's going to be uh, I'm going to be able to save, but we'll, we'll see. So it all depends on how hot it gets. But yeah, if you ever have this happen and you and you know need to do this to where in case it does happen, uh, you'll be able to you'll be able to just walk away from it, and uh, you won't have any any chance of you uh, try wanting to transport you know the vessel that's about to go off because there's only just seconds once you see that little ember and you only have seconds and the whole thing's going up there's nothing you can do about it you can't stir to put it out that's a huge it would be a huge disaster if you tried that you're just going to create a, a a big flashbang and you, know, you can hurt yourself so please use precautions anytime you're ball milling i used some and it was still dangerous so you know use at your own risk